Kate Clark here with the 2019 AP Computer Science A FRQ number three. So number three says, many encoded strings contain delimiters. A delimiter is a non-empty string that acts as a boundary between different parts of a larger string. Delimiters involved in this, in this question occur in pairs and that must be balanced, with each pair having both an open delimiter and a closed delimiter. So there's only one type per string, and here's some examples. So I have the open and closed parentheses. If I have it paired, open, then closed is valid. If I don't have it paired, open, open, then closed, that is not valid. Same thing with HTML tags. If I have an open uh, delimiter and a closed delimiter, um, open tag, closed tag, they must match like the first line, but the second line, they do not match because this is different than slash B. Okay, I'm given a delimiters class and I'm given two strings as instance variables, open del and closed del. And they're set up in the constructor, so I don't have to worry about that. And then part A, I have to worry about get delimiters list, which returns an array list of type string, and given a list of strings called tokens. Okay, so a string containing text and possibly delimiters has been split already into tokens and stored into this tokens array. Each token is either an open or a closed delimiter and a substring that is neither. So we have to write the get delimiter list, which I've set up in my replet on the right, which returns an array list containing all open and closed delimiters in order. So here's an example. If I have open and closed as the parentheses and my tokens are these, this array of strings, the only ones I copy over are the open one and then the closed one in that order. Same thing for this queue tag and close queue tag. Uh, I have all my strings in an array and I only copy this queue, this uh, slash Q and this last closed delimiter. Okay, then the next page is to write it. I'll keep this page open so I can reference it. But I know right away that I have to return an array list of strings. So I set up my result variable. I would like using result as a variable name. And then I need the keyword new array list string again and then those two parentheses. And I always return, return, return. Excuse me. Okay, I have an array, so I'm gonna loop through the array of tokens. So I'm gonna say for int i index is zero. What the heck is going on, sorry. And then i less than tokens dot length, and then i plus plus. So there's my looping through every um, string. I notice it is a string array, but because it's an array, I don't use the parentheses on the length. But because they are strings, I have to check to see if the current element, so current element is tokens bracket i, and to see if they're equal, I need dot equals, the open delimiter, or if that current element equals a closed delimiter, either one. Then all I want to do is say result dot add tokens bracket I, add the current string. And that's it for part 3a. Notice there are a lot of things going on here. I have an array list, so I have to set up the array list. I have to use the key uh, method add, result dot add, but I also have strings. So because they're each a string, I have to use the dot equals method to compare. And then because it is an array, I have to use the um, array length, uh, accessing with a bracket. I could have done a enhanced for loop. So I'm gonna copy everything and show you if I change this to an enhanced for loop. So for each string called token in my tokens array, so now instead of tokens bracket i, I can just use the key or the variable name token as the current element. So that's how it would work using the um, enhanced for loop. So both are valid, but I still prefer having access to my um, index. So that's my preferred preference. Either way is correct, and there are probably several other ways to solve this but that's the 2019 AP Computer Science A FRQ number 3A.